welcome back guys to part 12 on PHP and MySQL based newsletter system. Recently I have received a request from one of my users that uh, how to send attachments in PHP mails. Guys, if I'll talk about the PHP mail function and if you're thinking to send attachment from there, then it's uh, almost impossible because you have to write you know a lot of codes and then you have to you know encode your files that you would be sending in attachments and it's actually really really tough so there are some genius people online who have actually created some mailer classes that we can use and uh, we can actually send emails from there and one of those is php mailer class guys uh, last week i had to uh, you know create this functionality in uh, the newsletter I have created and I had a really hard time actually finding the right version of the PHP mail mailer but finally I, I uh, found one if you people want you can go to sourceforge.net you can get it there and if you people have the hard time the way I had you can actually go to my site uh, you can go to the downloads section and out there um, there would be a PHP mailer class, the uh, actual one I would be using today, and you can download it from here. Okay, so back to our newsletter. Out here, we need another form from where we can actually attach the attachments. <clears throat> so I have this particular file open, and here, where we are saying the uh, form method post and the action to newsletter.php, we need one more time and that would be the ENC type and that would be multi-part form data this way we would be getting the like this way we would be able to attach or you know save any kind of files we want but if you will not have any ENC type then we won't be able to uh, save any kind of files out here just below the sender's name I would be creating one more section and that would be for attachment so I'm gonna say attachment okay attachment and the input type will be equals to file the input name would be attachment and the input ID would be attachment as well okay that seems pretty fine now what we need to do is we need to write the code in order to save the file to the database and to one of the folder so very first out here we would be creating a folder I would be naming it to newsletter images or newsletter attachments I would say newsletter attachments okay and then in the database we need to create another field uh, that would be inside news not newsletter uh, out here in the news then I'll go to newsletter and out here I have to create one more field where we would be saving the source of the actual attachment we would be uh, saving or okay <clears throat> so one more field on the bottom and I'm gonna name it to attachment this would be a text because we are not sure how long the attachment would be so it's better to have a text field or you can you don't have a very long bar chart of around three to four hundred that seems pretty fine and uh, uh, from here we have to write the code in order to save the file so I'll go to my scripts folder, then I'll go to newsletter submit.php. Okay, here uh, I'm gonna say if dollar uh, okay, dollar files. attachment temp name is not equals to no okay that means it do have something 
inside the temporary name that will only come once a person will attach a file that file will get some kind of a temporary name so I'm saying if that is equal that is not equal to no then obviously a person would be attaching a file then dollar attachment will be equal to dollar files attachment name okay get the actual name of the file then I'm gonna say move <coughs> uploaded file to uh, our uploaded file would be actually this one with the champ name and we would be moving it to newsletter attachments okay slash our attachment okay guys now let me explain to you what I did out here first I'm making a check that the temp name is not equal to null so anytime a person will attach any kind of a file it won't be equal to null okay then um, uh, getting the file name into a variable called attachment that would be the actual name and the temp name is a path uh, that would be created by our server then I'm um, moving the uploaded file with its champ name to the newsletter images with its actual name okay if it seems a bit confusing don't get confused guys it's really easy and out here then I'm gonna say else dollar attachment will be equals to null otherwise we don't have any file name because we have to save it out here so we need to create a variable again if the people are not even attaching a file so here I'm gonna say attachment and here I'm gonna say attachment as well let's see if it's attachment or attachments attachment okay that seems pretty fine and let's try and see whether it works or we will end up with some errors refresh okay I'm gonna select a template I'm gonna name it uh, attachment newsletter send your email to admin at the rate admin dot um, central name would be admin and I would be sending an attachment uh, get something from documents <coughs> downloads okay not a zip file that would be too long okay let's take a PNG file and let's see whether it gets saved or not here I'm gonna say hey dude I would be sending attachments now and if it submit let's see what happens it's a success and let's see whether we got any file out here yep there is one file so actually we are able to save the file with its actual name and come back here to the database and let's see whether we have any file yep, we have one file with the name of uh, untitled.png now what we have to do is we have to go to our sendnow.php file and we will have to write the code in order to grab the file from this newsletter and then we will have to send it so here I opened it and guys till now the function we are using is the PHP actual mail function and if we will start sending files from here I'm telling you guys you would be scratching your head and you won't be able to send any kind of a file for sure so I'm gonna take everything off and I would be using the functions of the PHP mailer class but very first we will have to include that class uh, to this file so if you people have actually downloaded it from the zip folder I have you will get this mailer folder you can just you know extract it inside your root folder and uh, 
out here there would be a file called class.php mailer.php this is the actual file we want to include in order to use any kind of a function and if your people are curious how the people are doing it uh, it's not a big deal just open this file and you can actually see the functions they have created and yeah, okay out here I'm gonna paste file name and here I would be saying mailer 